so I'm going to have to have a bit of a giggle about something, and that is that uh, I've written close to 700 blogs about Microsoft, okay? It's actually more if I have to add in what I do for other people, and uh, and guess what? I've never written about pivot tables. I mean, that's incredible. I couldn't believe it. When I was doing the Insights blog now, I thought like, let me just go and have a look when I, when I wrote that blog about pivot tables, and guess what? I've never written a blog about pivot tables. I'm actually embarrassed to say the least. So, so let's do that. Let's look at, uh, at pivot tables today. And now I'm going to use the same set of data that I used earlier on. So I've got continent, country, city, population. And these type of things work great with pivots because you'll see that I have a lot of countries and cities falling under Africa, which means that I can get great summaries in there. So when I stand in this data, I can go to insert and I can go to pivot table. Um, what's important is gonna, it's going to build a new um, worksheet for it and then it also selects the data. This of course is uh, based on the table range and if a table range isn't um, defined you could just select the data. I'm going to just say um, yes and then it brings up this cool little looks like a remote for my TV on the left hand side and uh, on the right hand side it then brings up the details or the little thing where I can decide which tables, which fields, etc., to use. So um, the first thing I can do is to say um, I'm going to use continents, but I want to show you that it's got filters, values, rows, and columns. So you can build your pivots this way or this way, if that makes sense. I'm going to drag continents um, into rows, which then brings down um, all my um, continents, okay? Which means that if I had to bring down population here, it'll actually um, bring down all the numbers but uh, not the the countries or the cities so I'm going to just bring that down and uh, bring it in between so there we go this means that I can now select on that and it'll minimize um, each of those now what I can do is I can go down and say I want the population to be as values as well which means it'll sum it automatically so now if I minimize Africa and I do remember that I can um, collapse. I just wanted to see if I could collapse all. So let's just quickly see if it allows me to do that. It's quite a list of data there. So, so see there how it collapses it because I put the summary in for the population and it's got the country, city, etc. So if I expand here, it'll actually expand that um, continent for me which is pretty cool um, I can of course bring filters in as well to say that um, I want to filter by specific um, continents of course so if I bring the filter in you'll see that it's got a filter now at the top there where I can go and say um, select multiples not all of them only show me um, Africa and Europe for example and then it'll filter according to that. Isn't that pretty amazing? And it's so quick to do this, it's unbelievable. You just need to understand the differences between um, bringing all of these in and saying, how's that actually going to work? If I had to drag con um, continent across to columns, you'll see that it's actually bringing in the columns at the top there. See there's Africa and Europe, and it'll actually bring them down like that, and then keep the cities and the countries on the left hand side. Let's just take a very quick look at this again. I'm going to go back and say uh, insert and instead of choosing pivot table I'm going to say what do you recommend I build a pivot with and it's going to come up with recommendations. It's going to say give me the sum um, of population by continent um, or give me the count of city by continent. That's a cool one. So I'm going to say okay. This means it's counting the number of cities for me in a specific continent. I of course could have done it with the other one as well, is by going yeah, is if I had to bring in city and I click on the drop down, you'll see it automatically goes count. It'll then tell me the number of cities um, per continent. Pretty cool thing to do and cannot believe that in over 700 blogs I've never written about pivot tables. It's because there's so much to say about PowerPoint, what can I say? Well anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you have fun playing around with your data and that it adds value to your business. Chat soon.